Hello everyone, it's Kaylee here from Carry Every Day. And I just wanted to hop on here for a quick second and just tell everyone thank you so much for all the support so far. Thank you for everyone that's liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. As many of you know, this is still a fairly new YouTube channel for me, so I just really appreciate all the support and thank you. Um, but anyways, from my last collection video of folding knives, I noticed a lot of comments asking about fixed blades. You know, stuff like, do you have fixed blades? Where's the fixed blades? Fixed blades. Um, so yes, I do own fixed blades and I do have a collection of them. I will say I don't have as many fixed blades as folding knives, but I still have a special place in my heart for fixed blades. Um, you know, they're the perfect thing for messy jobs. I love using them for yard work. I often break down cardboard boxes with fixed blades. So yes, I do have some and I will show them to you shortly. Um, but before I show you guys my fixed blades, I'll just show you what I carried today. I have 3.5 something I've seen company, J Cape. If you've seen my other videos, you've definitely seen this knife. Um, and this actually came in today from something I've seen company as well. It's like the slap it, slap on koozies. You remember back in the day, those bracelets that you would just slap on your wrist? Well, essentially the same thing, just um, koozie form. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty neat so far. And then keeping up with the purple theme. This is a hank that my mom actually made me recently. Um, she's sewn all her life, so I just asked her if she could make me some EDC hanks, and she did a great job. Um, for my nerds out there, this is the, um, Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. And my favorite color is purple, so yeah. She really knocked it out of the park with these. Um, but anyways, I will show you my fixed blades now. Alright, so here is my drawer of fixed blades here. So we have the Hidden Canyon from Benchmade. And this is in a leather sheath that I got made specifically for this knife from Oak City Leather Supply. Um, I like that it's got the pocket clip. It's easier for me to carry these like this with the clip because I can just clip it into my front pocket and then that's just showing with a little bit of the fixed blade sticking out. Or you know, you can carry appendix or however you want to. Um, but yeah, here's the Hidden Canyon. You have S30V. I really like the stone wash they did on this guy. See, I told you I opened a lot of boxes with these. Um, stone wash is beautiful. It's a really good size for me. And then I added a little lanyard. This is leather from Pear Drop Leather. Um, just to add a little bit more grip area. But I really don't need it because my hands are small. And this is a fairly small knife. But just in case I ever did, um, I like the lanyard on there. So yeah, here's the Hidden Canyon from Benchmade. And then I have Berg Blades Cleaverito. I don't believe these are in stock anymore, guys. Um, yes, I will show you some stuff that you just can't get. I'm sorry. A lot of these are drops or they just don't make them anymore. Um, so yeah, this, this thing right here was one of the first fixed blades that I absolutely fell in love with. Um, Berg Blades does just an amazing stone wash. I have shredded so much stuff with this and you literally can't even tell. So yeah, I really like this. I really like the size. Um, I don't know how I feel about the ring. Um, I'm not too crazy on the rings with fixed blades. Um, for me, I'd rather just have a handle, just a regular handle, but you know, I mean, it's there. When I use this, I don't put my finger in it. I literally just act like it's part of the handle. Um, but that's just my preference personally. And then you have some uh, blue G10 right here. But yeah, thumbs. and it came with this <clears throat> Kydex with the pocket clip, which was really nice. It's got good tension as it is. And yeah, I know he had stated one time in one of his stories that he used to go on runs with this knife a lot because it's, it's really solid and well built, but it's not too, too heavy. So I could see clip, that clipping into shorts pretty well. Um, right here, we have another slip from Oak City Leather Supply pocket clip. This one's super easy to pocket. Um, with the Giant Mouse GMF1. Um, I'd heard a lot about the Ergos and like that everyone loved this knife. I do really like it. I think it's super slicey. I don't, the handle's not as comfortable to me as I thought it was going to be. Um, yes, I know it's supposed to be small and I could add a lanyard, but I wish there was just a tiny bit more 
length and the handle I mean it's not too terrible I don't know I just remember getting it and being like I mean it's comfortable but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more comfortable from all the hype from it but still a really nice knife love the sheath um, Berg blades iron wolf got this one at blade show 2022 from my understanding it's a one of one absolutely love the handles so beautiful really want to take this thing camping um, this is also 20 CV steel um, and it's got a nice high sheath with it really colorful beautiful um, I like colorful stuff you'll notice that as a theme this was just an Amazon buy just a good old Smith & Wesson reminds me of like a boot knife um, but yeah, I love dagger style. Um, before I was into knives, I was into swords and daggers. I know, I know. But it's the truth. I tell you the truth. But yeah, Smith & Wesson. This is from BGM. The Quaken. I freaking love this thing. This is in his Magna Cut. Um, he did hollow grind here you've got your harpoon tip and it's basically like a gravel he like hammers a little bit and makes that cool design you have your paracord wrapped but it's hardened so I never have any worries really about this coming apart it's actually pretty comfortable such a thin thin handle but it's super grippy because he hardens it with some type of epoxy or something so it adds plenty of grip still stays super slim and yeah, just look at it. So this is the BGM Knives Quaken. Beautiful, beautiful grind lines here. Um, and yeah, I noticed a tiny bit of rust specs there, but you know, they say that's the one downfall, keeping a knife hooked in a Kydex can sometimes accumulate rust, but yeah, you can get that off. But for the most part, this thing is just amazing. Really just love the way this looks. Oh, dropping stuff. But yeah. And I and he lets you pick the uh, color of the Kydex normally. I picked gray with this one. Just how I was feeling. Then we have the Spyderco Bow River. This is the fixed blades, or this is the fixed blade that I've used the most in the kitchen. Um, just because it's so slicey. It's got a super comfortable handle. Um, yeah. Just great, great for the kitchen in my opinion. Nice, nice knife. Got this on Amazon too. I'm a sucker for two-day shipping. What can I say? Um, this was a blade show buy. This is the Bradford Knives Guardian 3. You can see me in the, <laughs> the stand here because this is just such a beautiful mirror polished blade. Love the purple one G10. It's very comfortable in hand as well. The jimping's in just the perfect spot for me. So yeah, I really like this fixed blade. And this is a Kydex sheath that I got for it. This is from Jake B Create Creates. And then once again, that is Jake B Creates. Speaking of him, he makes these chickadees. So you've got the world's most pocketable fixed blade this was a certain type of tool steel this was from one of his first earlier drops I just remember it being a tool a tool steel um, probably could use a little sharpening but yeah got your PB&J here and I added this to it it just came undone but um, I had added this to it so that way I could wear it as a neck knife if I wanted to um, you know how this goes, you just put the cord in there and snap it into place. But yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable as a neck knife as well, because it's so light and small. Um, this, I probably carry it like this more often though. Um, this thing is definitely the easiest pocket fixed blade that I have. Got the tan scales here. I want to say that these were the linen ones. 
just yeah beautiful it's like that satin templed look again got your beautiful grind lines here and yeah love purple obviously so like that sheath and fixed blade combo just makes it super easy to throw in your pocket this was <laughs> just a random buy another smith and wesson i told you i'm a sucker for daggers any type of dagger looking knife but yeah thought the green was cool I haven't really used this one much, but I think I got it on sale. It was like literally like 15 bucks. So I was like, yeah. And I think that's about it. Oh, nope. CRKT Minimalist and a Civivi. This was some of the first little fixed blade cleavers I got. This really is a great knife. I don't, I don't carry them enough. This thing is sweet. I mean, the price is great. The ergonomics with these grooves for my small hands just fits perfectly. This jade and that black wash, this was always my favorite. It's just so good looking. And I love cleaver blades. I am a sucker for a cleaver. I just, I just really like how they handle tasks. You can fight me on that, but I like cleaver blades. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I have right here, um, like I said, I know it's not as many as my folding collection, but, you know, here's the fixed blades.